Good medical morning. This is Watson, your medical documentarian, with today's topic, pilar cysts. We've covered them before, but this is our deepest look into scalp cysts, so let's kick it off right about now. Pilar cysts are flesh-colored bumps that can develop on the surface of the skin. They're sometimes called tricholemal cysts or WENs. These are benign cysts, meaning they typically aren't cancerous. Although pilar cysts aren't necessarily a cause for concern, you may find them uncomfortable. You may be able to identify some of the characteristics of pilar cysts on your own, but you should still see your doctor for an official diagnosis. They can make sure the bump isn't another type of cyst. They'll also advise you on your next steps. Stick around to learn more about how these cysts present, whether they should be removed, and more. But first, if you enjoy our medical documentaries, please click the subscribe button and click the bell for all of our notifications. You won't see our updates unless you click the bell. Pilar cysts grow within the surface of your skin. Although 90% of pilar cysts occur on the scalp, they can occur anywhere on the body. Other possible sites include the face and neck. Most people end up having more than one pilar cyst at any given time. These type of cysts can range in size. Some can be the size of a quarter, and others can grow to the size of a small ball. This process happens gradually over a long period of time. Pilar cysts are the same color as your skin. They're also round in shape, sometimes creating a dome-like bump on the surface of your skin. The cysts are usually firm to the touch, but smooth in texture. Pilar cysts don't contain pus, and they shouldn't be painful to the touch. That's according to Healthline.com. Come out of them? Is there any gunk no, or anything coming no, out of them? No, no. Okay. What these are are pilar cysts. A cyst is a sac that's filled with a fluid or semi-fluid material that can appear anywhere on the body. Before I continue, I want to thank all of our loyal supporters, all the folks who leave comments and click like. I really appreciate that. Now back to the cysts. Treatment isn't medically necessary for pilar cysts. However, many people consider removal options for cosmetic reasons or due to general discomfort caused by the cysts. In some cases, your doctor may recommend draining the cyst with a small cut at the site of the bump. However, surgical removal is the most effective treatment method. In this approach, your doctor will remove both the cyst and the epithelial lining from the underlying hair follicle. This stops the cyst from producing more keratin that can lead to recurring bumps. After surgery, there will be a small scar left where the cyst originally was. Despite removal, it's possible for these types of cysts to eventually return. Any type of surgery or incision puts you at risk for infection and possible scarring. If you experience redness, irritation, or pus drainage from the area, see your doctor. They can prescribe oral antibiotics to treat these symptoms. So folks, what do you think of our deep looks at medical problems like this? Should we continue to do more long-form videos? I'd love to hear your input and feedback. And now, a word about Thinergy. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who is losing weight with Thinergy. Keep up the great work, guys. You are all doing so awesome. Now, ways that I continue to stay healthy and be in shape is by always giving myself a minimum of 30 minutes each day to stay active. Whether it's just going up the stairs instead of using an elevator, whether it's going to the gym or doing something fun like ice skating, which I love to do, I always try to stay active. And I know sometimes it can be hard to keep yourself motivated to do that, but the ways that I keep motivated is by thinking to myself that if I am physically healthy, it also improves my mental health majorly. And also fun ways that I stay motivated is by doing different types of exercises, whether it's taking a Zumba class or a spin class. Also joining your family and friends with you is a great way to keep yourself encouraged to stay healthy. So have fun everyone and good luck!